What is diabetes type 1? Type 1 diabetes is also known as juvenile diabetes or insulin-dependent diabetes. In diabetes type 1, the body's immune system destroys beta cells of the pancreas, which produce insulin, resulting in little or no insulin. Insulin is a hormone that is produced by the pancreas in low amounts, but when you take a meal, pancreas releases an increased amount of insulin. The amount released is proportional to the amount required by the meal, so the function of insulin is to help cells in absorbing nutrients and sugar, or glucose, from the bloodstream. Cells use these nutrients as energy to perform various tasks. In type 1 diabetes, there is a problem with insulin production due to which the glucose stays in the bloodstream, damaging the vessels. It leads to other issues, like over time, the sugar may damage the nerves and vessels of the eyes, the heart, or other organs, making a person prone to atherosclerosis, or hardening of arteries that can cause heart attack and stroke. Diabetic retinopathy is another complication caused by the swelling and leaking of blood vessels back in the eye. It has its effect on digestion too, causing nausea, constipation, and diarrhea. Diabetes affects the nerves and circulation, which results in dry skin, poor wound healing, and making body predisposed to fungal and bacterial infections. Dehydration is also another complication of diabetes type 1. When there is a lot of sugar in the blood, the kidney tries to clear it from the body by increasing urination. When the kidney loses glucose through urine, a lot of water is also lost, resulting in dehydration. When you develop type 1 diabetes, your blood may not circulate through your feet and legs, and if left untreated, it can lead to amputation or the surgical removal of your feet. Studies show that diabetes type 1 is genetic. As diabetes type 1 is an autoimmune disorder, other causes include environmental toxins which can trigger it. When there is some toxin or pathogen in the environment, it can cause the immune system to mistakenly kill beta cells of the pancreas to the level that cells produce little or no insulin. It is genetic because the marker autoantibodies are present in almost 85-90% to of diabetic patients. Stress also plays a role in elevating blood sugar levels by releasing hormones adrenaline and cortisol, which triggers the liver to release more glucose. If you maintain a healthy weight, get regular exercise, and eat a moderate diet, you are at a lesser risk of having diabetes. Keep your blood sugar and cholesterol level within limits, don't smoke, don't have too much stress, and be physically active. The symptoms include dry mouth, nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, frequent urination, dehydration, weight loss, extreme hunger, etc. These symptoms are minute but can lead to severe complications. Diabetes type 1 is a chronic disease with no cure, but there are treatments to manage and control your blood sugar levels. Patients with diabetes type 1 tend to have insulin injections to control glucose within levels like short-acting insulin just before your meal. Children and adolescents are more susceptible to diabetes type 1, but they can eventually lead a long and healthy life by maintaining a healthy lifestyle. Example, exercise daily, plan your meals, frequently monitor your blood sugar level, maintain cholesterol and blood pressure levels. If you do all of these things, the risk of complications are cut up to 75%. Even if you've been diagnosed with diabetes type 1, you can control it by balancing your glucose levels, sticking to your daily exercise routine and nutrition plan. There is nothing to get frightened about or lose hope over. You can manage it. We hope that you are learning something new every day from our videos. If you'd like to know about a specific topic, inbox us, email us, or comment down below. 